Hey everyone, I'm Kayla Brantley with The Nocturnal, here speaking with the one and only Tia Mowry. Tia, how are you? Ah, I'm doing great, how are you? I'm doing very well. It's so nice to be talking with you today. I feel like I'm practically in your kitchen. Can you tell me <laughs> what's going on there, what you have next to you? Yes, so this happens to be one of my family's favorite um, dishes that we've been making at the house of, um, as of late. It is my old fashioned oats featuring Elmo. You can see his eyes, his nose, um, and his, his basically his face right here. Um, I also have some lactate milk because I use this um, lactate uh, milk um, in the recipe. My family, including myself, we have a lactose sensitivity. Um, but one thing that I love about lactate is that it allows you or me and my family to enjoy the benefits of real milk, like the creaminess of the texture and just the flavor that milk has to offer because lactate is 100% real milk just without the lactose. So it's like minus the stomach discomfort. But yeah, that's right, right in front of me. This is practical. It's easy to make. It's healthy and the kids will absolutely love it. I have to say, I grew up drinking lactate milk too because my stepdad is lactose intolerant and the taste is really not that different, right? No, because it's it's not different because it is milk. It is 100% real milk, it's just without the lactose. So like I said, whether you're um, making the overnight oats or you're making a smoothie, um, especially with smoothies, I don't like for my smoothies to be watered down. I need that creaminess, the, you know, the texture from real milk and lactate, it'll, it allows you to, you know, to, to have that because again, it's 100% real milk. Um, and also one of my favorite um, uh, indulgence, should I say, is ice cream and cookies and milk. So I'm allowed to enjoy all of those fun classic dishes with lactate. Definitely. And you do have an upcoming cookbook, I hear. Yes. So how do you come up with your recipes for that? And are there any that also do involve lactate? Oh my gosh. So the way I come up with recipes is just, you know, whatever I'm inspired by. Um, I'm inspired by so many, you know, things that I see from my peers, meaning, you know, or just, you know, on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, that seems kind of cool. Let's see how I can do a little twist with that. Um, also, you know, what I love to eat and what my children love to eat, I'm also inspired by, you know, my life, right? Meaning I'm a very busy working mom so the dishes that i make for my family they have to be quick easy um practical but we're also about um health and wellness so we want to make sure that um, a lot of the ingredients that we are using are whole food and you know lactate is definitely one of those like i said it's 100 percent real milk it's just without the, the lactose and you know yes th there are some um recipes that i use in, in the book such as like smoothies um, it's very smoothie. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite ways to incorporate like uh, fruits and vegetables for the kids. Um, and, you know, most of the times they don't even notice that it's in there. Um, but lactate is perfect for that because, again, I don't like watered down smoothies. I like for them to be, you know, have a nice texture to them. And lactate definitely helps with that. And I have to say, it's so surreal to even be talking with you today. I have been a fan of yours for so long, Sister Sister Days. <laughs> You're so Which sweet, thank days. you. <laughs> All through Disney <laughs> Channel, I absolutely yep. love with you. Um, but you have new projects now, Netflix Family Reunion. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, uh, we, I have a show called Family Reunion that's on Netflix. We currently just launched, um, not launched, but um, aired our first part of our second season two months ago. The third part should be um, out any time soon, I, I'm assuming this, I believe this, this summer. Um, but I'm having so much fun on the show. I love doing family shows. I love working with kids because it kind of reminds me of how I grew up, you know what I mean? And, and even though I play a mom, to these, these kids, I feel like I am so protective over them. I'm, I'm like, you know, I act like their mom on set. I'm always wondering, like, how are you feeling? How was school? Were you able to get your schoolwork done? Are you feeling overwhelmed at all? Um, always, you know, offering them advice. Um, but it is so much fun on that show. And that character is the closest to who I am in real life. I, I, I consider myself, you know, like a fun, a fun mom. And I think that it's so great that you are, you know, giving back in a way while still 
working and especially going from being mm -hmm. a child star to yourself, was it ever yeah. difficult, you know, kind of finding your own interests, especially when your interests were kind of like, you are an actor and that is your identity from so young? No, you know, I really just go with the flow in life. You know, I really do. So I feel like women in general, we're multifaceted. There's so many things that we can do. There's so many things that we are good at, you know? Um, and I feel like whatever you're passionate about and whatever you're interested in, go for it. Shoot for the stars, right? I truly believe that life is short. I also believe that everybody has a special gift within themselves. And that's all we have to do is just kind of, you know, open the box and discover it and then just go for it. Um, so, you know, everything that I do, I feel like, you know, is, is authentic to how I'm living my life. Um, and also it, it comes from inspiring and encouraging. So I'm a foodie, I love to cook, but I just didn't want to keep that to myself. I wanted to encourage everyone else that, look, if I could do it and I'm an actress, like you could do it too, you know what I mean? Um, and that's why I you know, came out with this, this new cookbook, um, uh, Quick Fix Kitchen, and also my YouTube channel, you know, Tia Marie's Quick Fix, just so I can inspire other people to you know, get healthy meals on the table for their, for their family and their friends. And I have to hear about your natural hair journey. I saw that you did oh. the big chop. I yes. chopped off my hair also in February. <laughs> and girl, it's been rough. It has been so rough. So please, do you have any tips? Wait, how like, been for you? Rough? Like, how so? It's just been like, I, I was not used to it. I had never cut my hair that I see hair. what you're saying, yeah. I, I cut off all the, the dead that was like straight. Yeah, the dead. Straight. Yeah. My hair is super curly. Now I have it slicked back. It barely fits yeah. the ponytail. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, you know, th this, is, this is the thing. Um, I truly, I, I don't know what it is about me, but I love a journey. I love a process. I really do. I'm like obsessed with, with that. And I feel like that's how it was even with my hair. I was like, okay, it's short now. It's a little, you know, shocking at first. Cause like you said, you're not used to it. You're not even used to doing your hair that way, mm -hmm. but just nurturing it and then seeing it grow and then seeing, you know, your curls become more, um, or have more volume and just have more balance to it. Like I enjoy that process and, and you know, it, it, it teaches you about patience as well. You know what I mean? So, um, I think it's cool. I think it's great. And always, you know, to do something different and new. It's, right. it's always exciting. Right. And then you could always try different styles and, and it is definitely. Girl, and you can always just put a wig on or put extensions in. That's <laughs> true. I love your hair today. It looks <laughs> Thank you. Yes. It's all about alternatives. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And so how has it been? You know, we've all been in lockdown for the last year. I know for a lot of people, it was really nice family time, time that you didn't get to spend before. How have you know. been balancing as we're slowly getting back, you know, home life and work life and just getting back out there? You know, it's, it's actually been okay. It's been, it's been great because, um, you know, I have the best support system in my husband and in my family. Um, so, the adjustment, it was hard at first, you know, in the beginning of, of the pandemic, but I feel like we were in quarantine for so long, I've learned to use another bag of survival tools. <laughs> um, and we kind of pivoted and, you know, adjusted and, and we, we got used to keeping the kids busy, like, you know, uh, what to do with the kids, you know, we're going to watch movies, we're going to play games this day, we're going to stay outside that day, we're going to work out, you know, together on another day. Um, I am very happy that the world is slowly but surely starting to open up again, um, you know, which has been great because then I get to see my, my family, you know, I get to see my sister, my dad, my mom, my brother who lives um, in Tennessee. So to be able to have him come over and spend time with him and my dad and my mom and even my sister, it's, it's, it's been great because I, I, I did take that for granted, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? Because it was something that we always did. So when it was removed from us, it was a blow. It was a hit. But now that 
we're slowly but surely starting to, you know, come together again, we're really savoring the moment and um, really enjoying ourselves. Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. It's oh, been no such problem. a pleasure to talk with you.